While drivers come and go, there are two people that have become synonymous with Red Bull Racing, Christian Horner and Helmut Marko. But the two Red Bull chiefs are reportedly at war with each other, and rumours of an internal coup just won't go away. Who are Christian Horner and Helmut Marko? Christian Horner and Helmut Marko are two of the most recognisable faces in the paddock. While both of their driving careers finished way before they got to Formula 1, they've gone on to create one of the most successful teams of all time and one that is currently dominating the sport. But just how did they get there? Let's start with Marco. The now 80-year-old Austrian began life as a racer before becoming a manager, working with F1 drivers Gerhard Berger and Karl Wendlinger. After getting the taste for management, Marco started his own Formula 3 and Formula 3000 team called RSM Marco. In 1999, he agreed a sponsorship deal with Red Bull that saw the team rebranded as the Red Bull Junior Team, and he began to build a close friendship with Red Bull co-founder and fellow Austrian Dietrich Mateschitz. Marco became Mateschitz's right-hand man. The Red Bull boss had a love of motorsport, but lacked the knowledge to make a team work, which is where Marco came in. When the idea of acquiring a Formula 1 team became a possibility, Marco was trusted to set it up and to do that he needed to find a team principal. Marco and Horner first met in the mid-90s as Horner, like Marco, had started his own racing team. The young-faced Horner was in need of a trailer and found a man selling one in Austria, Dr. Marco. After a brief bit of haggling, Horner purchased the trailer and clearly left an impression as a decade later, Horner was chosen to run the new Red Bull team. With Horner overseeing the day-to-day -day running of the team, while Marco acted as Mateschitz's eyes and ears, the two created a winning constructor, and the title soon began to roll in. That's been the status quo at Red Bull Racing ever since its inception, but now that relationship is seemingly being tested to the point of breaking. Marco crosses the line While Horner is known for his interviews, it's nothing compared to what comes out of Marco's mouth. The Austrian has frequently overstepped the mark, including most recently when he used xenophobic comments to describe Red Bull's own driver, Sergio Perez. It's incidents like this that have reportedly rubbed Horner the wrong way, so much so that the Red Bull Racing CEO and team principal wants Marco gone. That task though is not so simple, for Marco is not actually a Red Bull Racing employee. His contract is with parent company Red Bull GmbH, meaning that it's not Horner alone who could get rid of Marco. Marco's place in the team was as safe as anyone's for a long time, but that changed in October 2022 when Mateschitz passed away. The passing of the Red Bull co-founder brought a shift in dynamics in the parent company. In stepped Mateschitz's son Mark, and a man named Oliver Mintzlaff was appointed to the role of sporting director, charged with overseeing all of Red Bull's sporting ventures, including the F1 team. If there is a civil war going on, it seems Mintzlaff is on Horner's side and believes that Marco's frequent outbursts have outweighed his usefulness in the team. According to Brazilian outlet Globo, a meeting was even scheduled to decide Marco's ultimate fate, but another twist was to come. Marco denies such a meeting. Helmut Marco is never too far away from a microphone, so when rumours of imminent sacking were rife, he was unsurprisingly quick to say his side of the story. He told Austrian newspaper OE24, I'm doing well. Contrary to many assumptions, I have to disappoint the prophets of doom. I have no idea where all the rumours are coming from, he stated. There is no summit this week. I have a contract until the end of next year. When and how I stop, when it's over, that's up to me to decide, and not for example Mr Horner. Due to the new situation, everything is different. People are trying to define their power again. Horner too was keen to dismiss the rumours, suggesting their relationship is as strong as ever. He said, Without Helmin, I wouldn't be in the position that I am today. Like with the young drivers that he has given an opportunity, he also gave me that opportunity. We've always enjoyed a very strong and open relationship. Of course, there are things that we disagree on now and again, but I think that's healthy. We speak very regularly about all aspects. For Helmut, it's slightly different to how it used to be since the passing of his friend and colleague Dietrich, but he still has a very valuable role that he plays within the team, and there is absolutely no intent or desire from me or anyone within the team to see that change. For as long as he wants to continue, he's still a very sprightly 80-year-old. I don't see any change in the way that we work. Roles evolve, and the business has evolved so much since we first came into the sport. Operationally, I run this on a day-to-day -day basis. 
For any significant decisions, of course we confer, whether it be drivers or strategic calls. It's a partnership that has worked for many, many years. Everybody has their role and function to play. But as we've seen time and time again in Formula 1, there is often no smoke without fire. What comes next for Red Bull? In a season where they've won all but one race so far, broke numerous records and secured both titles already, life should be rosy for Red Bull, and yet a cloud hangs over the team. The reported infighting is not the only thing on their minds at the moment. The form and future of Sergio Perez is a topic that divides the senior leadership. Given his numerous comments, it would come as no surprise that Marco wants the Mexican gone for 2023, but it would appear Horner is more keen to stick with Perez and let him see out the final year of his contract. Perez is not the only driver that Marco and Horner have disagreed on either. The hiring of Nick DeVries after his 2022 super sub appearance in Monza was led by Marco, but when it blew up in their faces, Horner was left feeling smug. It was also reported this week that Horner even wanted a surprise candidate to replace Marco. Bradley Lord is the Motorsport Communications Director at Mercedes, and we know what you're thinking. What does a press officer have to do with this story? Well, according to one source, that's who Horner wanted to replace Marco in the Red Bull organization. The suggestion may not be as crazy as it first seems. Yes, Lord is a media-oriented employee, but he does play another role in the Mercedes team. The Brit can often be spotted inside the garage with Toto Wolff and other Mercedes higher-ups. This has also been proven in recent weeks when Lord has fulfilled the team's media commitments to the major broadcasters. Traditionally, teams will send a representative like Wolff or trackside engineer director Andrew Shovlin, but on recent occasions, it's Lord who's been on the end of a microphone, perhaps hinting his role stretches further than just a press officer. Horner is not a fool, so would not have identified a media consultant, especially one at Mercedes, without reason, but could there be a more obvious candidate? Vettel to return to Red Bull According to Sky Sports F1 reporter, Vettel is not out of the question. Kravitz was pondering where Vettel's next move may be after the German's retirement last year, and he gave his best guess of where the four-time world champion could end up. Kravitz said, we may well see a surprise comeback of Sebastian Vettel this year, but it won't be as a driver. I truly believe he has decided not to drive anymore, and as a man of integrity, as I know he is, I don't think he's going to disappoint everybody by going, ah, do you know what? I wasn't sincere in that. Here we go, I'm coming back as a driver. And everybody will go, hang on, we said goodbye to you. Possibly Audi maybe, but I think he'll come back to Red Bull. I think he'll replace Helmut Marko, that's more likely, as the sort of motorsport advisor. It was even a suggestion put to Marco, although the Austrian thinks Vettel is not quite ready for a return to F1. Marco said, We're still in contact. Seb is still in the self-discovery phase at the moment. I don't think he wants to travel to every race again and work more with significantly less pay. If Vettel does want to come back, then Red Bull could hardly ask for a better candidate. And considering his strong relationship with Horner, he would end this civil war before it's even truly begun. As always, thanks for watching this video and be sure to like as well as subscribe so you never miss a release here on the DRS Straight.